Hello students, welcome to Sources Classes. Today we will be solving the CSIR UC net questions from the June 2018 paper. We will be solving the set C which is the mathematical sciences paper. So let's start with the question number 65. In question number 65 it is said that let CCR be equal to F which goes from R to R. Here F is a continuous and there exists a compact set K such that f of x is equal to 0 for all x which belongs to k complement. Now if gx is equal to e to the power minus of x square for all x which belongs to the real number set, then which of the following statements are true? We have been given that CCR is the set of functions of f which goes from r to r and f is continuous and there exists a compact set k for which fx is equal to 0 for all x which belongs to the complement of set k. Now if gx is equal to mine e to the power minus of x square for all x which belongs to r, then which of the following statements are true? Option 1, there exists a sequence fn in CCR such that fn converges to g uniformly. Option 2, there exists a sequence fn in CCR such that fn converges to g pointwise. Option 3. If a sequence in CCR converges pointwise to G, then it must converge uniformly to G. Okay. It is saying that if a sequence in CCR is there which converges pointwise to the, then that sequence must also converge uniformly to G. And now option 4. In option 4 it has been said that there does not exist any sequence in CCR which converges pointwise to G. So these are the options that we have been given. Now. Let us imagine that there exists a sequence fn in CCR such that fn converges to g uniformly. Okay, so if that is possible, then we can say let statement let statement one be true. Now if statement one is true, that implies that if fn converges to G uniformly uniformly then then fn of x is basically equal to 0 for all x which belongs to k complement of kn since we have been given that there exists a compact set k such that fx is equal to 0 for all x which belongs to k complement therefore we can write since fn is convergent to g then we can write that fn x which means that fn x is equal to 0 for all x which belongs to k and complement then this will imply that then this will imply that g of x will be equal to limit n tends to infinity fn of x and this will be equal to this will give us that g of x will be equal to since f1 of x is equal to 0 so the limit will be also equal to 0 so g of x is equal to 0 but but we have been given but we know but we know that g of x is equal to e to the power minus of x square and this is never equal to 0 so our assumption that fn converges to g uniformly is incorrect so therefore our assumption our assumption that fn converges to g uniformly is wrong is wrong so therefore option 1 is false okay this is our first part of the question now let us move on to option 2 now in option 2 it has been said that there exists a sequence fn in ccr such that fn converges to g pointwise okay for this what we'll take uh, let we'll take fn of x be equal to e to the power minus of x square plus phi of n comma n plus 1 now what is this phi of n comma n plus 1 this is basically this is basically the characteristic function 
characteristic function. So this implies that if n tends to infinity then fn of x will tend to e to the power minus of x square minus of x square which is nothing but g which is nothing but equal to g so this implies that fn of x converges to g point wise so therefore fn of x converges to g point wise so therefore option 2 is correct therefore option 2 is correct now if option 2 is correct then in option 4 it has been said that there does not exist any sequence in CCR which converts this point wise to G but this is wrong since we have already found out that fn of x which is a sequence in CCR converts this point wise to G so that implies that therefore option 4 is false now let's shift our focus to option 3 in option 3 it has been said that if a sequence in CCR converges pointwise to G then it must converge uniformly to G now we have already shown that fn of x converges pointwise to G but it does not converge uniformly to G by, op by option 1 as we have already showed for option 3 we have already shown that now fn of x converges to g point wise and fn of x is a sequence in ccr okay but fn of x does not converge to pg uniformly this is basically from option 2 and this is from option 1 so therefore so therefore fn of x if it is converging to g point wise point wise does not imply that fn of x converges to g uniformly so therefore option 3 is false so therefore correct option is correct option is correct option is option 2 so today we have solved question number 65 from the UGC net question of June 2018 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching Sobsos classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much